So today we will start with a new module that is a module for preparation of a project and entrepreneur resource planning. So basic idea of this uh, studying this uh, unit is to understand the basic idea of studying this uh, unit is how to prepare a project. In fact, you, to an extent, you have an idea because you people have done uh, many, many projects uh, in your uh, uh, the semesters uh, and you are going to do a few of the many projects, maybe in database or maybe in computer graphics. So in there also you have a clear idea. That is, what is the meaning of a project? And uh, this uh, unit is totally uh, related. You cannot say it is purely a management uh, uh, subject this ERP or preparation of project. So to an extent, uh, technically speaking also, you have a word called project. So what is the meaning of a project you need to understand? So preparation of a project and enterprise resource planning. First, we need to understand the meaning of a project. What is a, how do you identify the project? For example, this is a very simple area. So let me go to the PPT. So let us try to cover few of the topics here. That is project identification, project selection. How do you select the project? And what is the meaning of project report? And what is the need and significance of a project report? Why do we need a significance report? Right? So here is the concepts. So first we need to understand meaning, project identification, okay? So what is a project basically? <clears throat> a project is something like a target. Any, It is an undertaking that you undertake something with definite starting point and define objectives by which completion is defined. So ultimately a project. So if I say a final year project, so you have a duration of four to five months within which you need to complete it. You need to formulate it in certain extent that uh, you are able to identify some sort of research in this, right? It is a whole complex activity. So project, it is a whole, it is not simple complex. It is a whole complex of activities, right? Involved in using the resources. So how do you involve uh, the using the resources to gain the benefits, right? So here is the example, the World Bank has defined the project as an approval for a capital investment. There are a big projects in, in with respect to the management, like how do you release a capital investment to develop the facilities, right? That is the definition of a World Bank. To a World Bank, <coughs> project is nothing but releasing the capitals in order to uh, execute the project. So project, it is an appraisal for an investment. For example, you have an appraisal. So you release a project <coughs> with a definite aim of producing flow of output over a specified period of time. So for your uh, understanding, if I say a project is something that is like a program itself, you have set of objectives and you need to achieve it at the end of at the end of the duration of period. And certain categories of a project, you know it. So before you select selection of a project, so what are the criteria you do select? First, you identify technically in which domain you are good, right? If I say if you are really good in image processing concepts, the programming such as a MATLAB or uh, something like uh, the image processing uh, graphic ideas or a programming related to it, definitely you select that domain, right? Similarly, if you are really interested in hardware, so maybe you go for embedded systems or um, maybe you select IoT devices wherein you have several uh, hardware de devices uh, to, to be uh, play with, right? So before we start selection of a project, before we start the selection of the project, so understand what is the meaning of a project. Project part take of the following three basic, what are the basic attributes of a project? It has a course of action, specific objectives, and we have defined time pers time perspectives. In the sense, we have defined time period. So within stipulated period, you have to complete this and you have a specific objectives to the project.
and also every project has a starting point and end point with specific objective as I mentioned previously. So we have a starting point and we have an ending point. So ultimately project has definitely these three attributes. What are the three attributes of a project means it has a, some sort of course of action. We have specific objectives and it has definite time perspectives. Okay. So next, what is a project life cycle? It is same as if like management life cycle. When I say management life cycle, you have planning, organizing, staffing, directing, and controlling. So, so once you do the planning, you go to the organizing, organizing, you have, so module one and module two completely, we have studied on the management life cycle, like planning, organizing, staffing in one module, right? Staffing, directing, controlling the second model. Similarly, what is project life cycle? That what, what are the different phases of the project that it goes through? If I say what is the project life cycle in the final year, you have phase one, phase two, phase three, right? Phase one carries some certain marks or the criteria to evaluate. Project phase two carries certain marks to evaluate, right? And phase three is a final objective. So wherein you show the complete project along with the along with the uh, demo demonstration, right? That is objective. So when I say a uh, phase one, maybe it describes of the theoretical descriptions, right? So we have phases of a project, same as I said, the project life cycle refers to the sequence of activities, right? And we have different phases of the project that is initiation or the birth phase. So what is this initiation of the birth phase? The objectives are clearly defined, right? Here, initiation or the birth phase of a project describes about the overall synopsis right what does the project does what is the basic objective theoretically and also problem description is being elaborated here problem description what is the uh, uh, problem description right right so collection of the theoretical uh, analysis initiation that is how do you it is not that project means you, simply you collect the IEEE paper and execute the IEEE paper. It is not same as such. Initiation and birth phase, like collection of the data. Collection of the data means you do theoretically collect many triple I3, triple E papers technically, and you do compare the papers and you come with a new idea. Merging the two, three papers and coming with the new idea is definitely a project, right? Whereas executing the same paper, what is there in the IEEE, maybe that is not a project because it is already executed project, right? So initiation starts from a comparison that is called a simple in technical terms, literature survey. So one or another day you might be asked, what is the literature survey you have done for your project? Remember this word, literature survey. So if I ask you, what could be the literature survey that you have done? That is a theoretically analysis on the various technical aspects that relies for your project description right so next we have a planning phase planning phase is a phase two right remember this phase one is a theoretical briefly description it describes about the limitations right what are the uh, objectives of the project what is the literature survey you have done on this remember this word liter literature survey theoretical description objective of a project what are the limitations and and in the objectives you are clearly defined what it overcomes compared to the previous papers that you have. Coming to the planning phase, it is a phase two. Phase two, what you do is you select the tools or you technically plan how do you execute this, right? You do compare the robustness, various uh, uh, functional requirement and non-functional requirement that you have studied in the concepts of software engineering. So here I'm talking more only with the respect to the technical point of view. In the planning phase, in the planning phase, what do you do? You are supposed to identify the functional and that is whether the functional and non-functional requirements are being executed or not, that is being compared. So functional requirement are very simple as if like your objective, technically speaking, right? When I say it is non-functional requirement, you talk about the robustness, whether your project is uh, robust compared to the other techniques or the techniques that you have collected in the literature survey is it or not so, right 
and finally you have a phase called execution phase wherein it is a phase 3 so i would i would i would uh, what i would do is i will club this execution phase or a close it exit phase as a phase 3 so meaning the main objective of comparing this you completely executed right explaining all the theoretical parts that is being done in literature survey the objectives the functional non functional requirement all these things are been discussed in the execution phase right it is a complete demonstration remember it is a complete demonstration of the project that you have done and also you theoretically explain it including all these two phases and finally it is a closure or exit phase what is closure and exit phase so closure and exit phase you do conclude exactly whether you have achieved the objective your objective has been achieved fine your objective has been achieved and you talk about the future scope here in the exit phase you talk about the future scope it is not that project has been completed 100% objective has been achieved but still more what could be achieved in future so that could be written in future scope so along with the conclusion you are supposed to show as the future scope <coughs> what so these are all the different phases of the project we have so let me go so project management it is a usually a branch of management capable differentiations of from other based on the variety factors so that might includes organizational structure the process of planning control human relations so what is project management project management basically deals with the project identification here is a topic that we need to focus it identifies project identification or a selection of a project how do you select the on what criteria you do select the project and a, a formulations and appraisals okay so here are the project management phases so if i ask you what are the different project management phases so you should be able to identify this project phases that is identification formulations appraisal selection implementation and management right so now we need to brief up uh, individually what is identification what is formulation and what is uh, all this appraisal selection implementation and management so what is identification first point so that is identification of project how do you identify the project identification so as i initiated in the beginning of the uh, class so what is project identification <clears throat> the collection of the data project identification so project identification clearly deals with the collection of theoretical data in your concept in your a technical point of view you do collect the various techniques that have been developed previously till now so how do you identify that that is with respect to certain standards so maybe you select few of the ieee papers or standard journals okay the papers that have been published in standard journals journals so all these will be collected pertaining to the particular domain this is too important it is not that collection of the data from i triple papers or the few of the uh, good uh, publications or the uh, journals doesn't mean that you select from different domains if your area is on image processing or image security so you do collect only on that domain particularly if if your area is uh, totally on internet of things or uh, internet of medical things or iomt so then you do select the the work that has been carried out till now based on certain technique okay certain technique clearly on based on the particular domain area similarly i could give certain other examples also maybe if your domain is uh, uh, based on some network concept right so you do collect the uh, networking uh, network concept the papers based on the network technology 
from various journals or i triple e or maybe from few of the right standard journals or publications that is nothing but a collection of the data so here the collection matters a lot remember so project identification is related to the collection of the data compilations that you you compilations what is the meaning of compilations so data is collected and what you do is you compile the data you do compare the various uh, uh, techniques that is being explained in the various papers right in that you get an idea you have a comparison that is called purely a literature survey and also with respect to the managerial point of view analysis of economical data for the purpose of locating possible opportunity for the investment it is not that always it is a technical uh, thing that you develop you do a research on a technical if you are a management guy so what is the economical data it is a budgetary factor so economical data for the purpose of locating possible opportunity for the investment okay so when we talk about the opportunities we may have additive complementary or breakthrough <coughs> so as an entrepreneur so as an entrepreneur <coughs> as an entrepreneur when you are searching for an idea suitable for your commitment based on your background and experience so we don't pursue one idea at a time that is we are not relying on one idea so we need to develop five or even more project ideas in parallel so here we are focusing on project identification so first two points i explained so how do you identify the project that is a way of identifying the project so second is second is as an entrepreneur what is the commitment at the background in identifying the project okay so there are many other key points that you need to remember while identifying the project so project identification includes a various ideas such as project ideas can be discovered from various internal and external resources that is identification of the project is not that simply a comparison and coming to a conclusion of a new idea it includes various other factors from the various internal and external sources that includes knowledge of potential customer needs personal observations of emerging trends scope for producing substitute product trade and professional magazines which provides a very fertile source of project ideas these are all the few of the resources okay internal and external resources so based on the knowledge of potential customer needs that could be a project identification a factor the observations of emerging trends in demand okay scope for producing substitute products even that could be a major thing okay so we will let us continue project identification so in the case of project identification so we can this project ideas could be discovered from various other internal sources that is a continuation department publications of various departments of the government fine this is same as if like collecting the data from the various uh, journals or the publications that is a standard journals such as uh, scopus index right so springer maybe if you have not heard elsewhere these are all the standard publications uh, we have so international publications so from there you can get an idea idea for a project identification or 
few of the journals publications and says success stories of known entrepreneurs so the based on the success of the known entrepreneurs also or friends you can get an idea and if a new product introduced by the competitor so you have a competitor and a new product has been identified based on that idea also you can uh, discover okay and also the ideas given by the knowledgeable person knowledgeable persons in the sense he is technically strong or in your case or he is running a, a firm or maybe he is an entrepreneur based on all these resources so we put together right a possible project to be examined as a final project so this process of identifying the project ideas is referred as opportunity scanning and identification so what is opportunity scanning and identification that is identifying the ideas scrutinizing the ideas from all the internal and external resources that is process of identifying the project ideas is referred as opportunity scanning and identification so next is a project selection so project identification included so many things this is all about the concept of project identification so we just started uh, what is a project meaning of a project remember all of you just uh, i'm uh, i'm uh, the recapping those who have joined late for them we i just revise revised so we started with what is our meaning of a project i said what is the ultimately the project meaning right and what are the different phases of a project so we studied beginning what is the meaning of a project how do you manage a project okay for a world bank what is the word called project and for us for a technical people what is the meaning of a project i told you right then i explained you the different phases of project i explained you the different phases of the project so what does the project consist of course of action specific objectives and defined term perspectives then i discuss about the project life cycle so project life cycle how does the initiation planning execution closer exits i said so i compared this with the phase 1 phase 2 phase 3 phase 3 all together here completion phase 3 as two phases execution phase and closer exit phase so in the initiation i talked about the terminology called literature survey what is the meaning of literature survey right and also i talked about the functional and non functional requirement that you studied in software engineering so in the planning phase i talked about the tools that you use to execute the particular uh, thing that is the objectives and you do compare the functional and non functional requirement with the tool based right and the completely the theoretically you are going to compare the literature survey over here execution phase is a complete demonstration showing the major objective that is total functional requirement that is functional requirement execution phase and closer and exit phase you do conclude that you have achieved certain results from the objective as you have described in the synopsis right or else you what you have specified in the abstract of your data of your project and also you talk in the exit phase what is that future scopes of the project okay. future scope of the project you are going to define it so those who have not given the uh, attendance uh, can give 
I just exactly started at 916. So then we came to the concept of project management. So what is project management? As I said, it is a specialized branch. And what is project management consist of? It consists of these points, identification, formulation, appraisal, selection, implementation, management. So in that first point is a project identification. We literally discussed about what is project identification. For an entrepreneur, what is project identification? And for a technical guy, what is a project identification? So here for a technical, I said, so compilation means what? Analysis of economical data is what, right? And we discussed about the internal and external phases of it. What is the external and external factors with that helps you in identifying the project? Fine. So for in your case, I said it is based on few of the technical papers, maybe I triple or maybe it is based on uh, various uh, international famous journals that is Springer or elsewhere or various indexed that is Scopus indexed. All those uh, journals could be considered while identifying the project. So wherein you will have a comparisons with the concepts of a particular domain. And also one more point I stressed you, right? Domain selection is an important before you collect the data. It is not that simply you do collect the data. First, based on the domain, you have to collect the data and do the literature survey. So what are the various internal and external factors we just discussed? Based on the knowledge of customer needs, right? So department publications. So based on how do you collect the data based on the internal external factors, department publications, six the stories of things all these things have been discussed so today we have covered so what is the meaning of project and project identification so next sessions we will start with the project selection so other concepts of a project management So those who have not given can give the uh, attendance in the chat session. <laughs>